Welcome to Fur, Fins, and Feathers. Today our guest is Celeste Mello from Swansea. She has owned pet birds and she has been long active in bird rescue. Welcome Celeste. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again mm -hmm. and to discuss these fascinating creatures. Could you tell us about your first bird here? Well, we have Loretta here. Oh, she's kind of, wait, stand up, see? Could you tell us about Loretta? Okay, she's a Moluccan cockatoo. She's 24 years old and she's kind of the, the only bird she loves going, she loves people. She goes to the library with me sometime and she entertains the children downstairs in the children's room or she'll, anybody who comes in the door, she'll welcome them and uh, she walks around and says hello to everybody. So, and she has many sisters and brothers at home. Could you tell us about this species? She comes from Australia. Yes. And uh, I guess it's like northern and the southern part of Australia. And she obviously likes food. Yes. Uh, and she, well, that's her, her basic food. And she also gets fruit, vegetables, and some seed. But the food she has is uh, a complete food. All the vitamins and minerals they need for feathers, healthy feathers, and eyes, and skin. So... Yep. What is the species longevity? Oh, about 75 years. Wow. They live to be 75 years. Yep. So they can live a long time. Yep. And her being 24, that's... She's got a long life ahead of her. She's a very, very beautiful bird. Thank you. And who else do we have today? And we have Skittles here. Oh, she's in the... Yes. Hello, Skittles. Skittles is a green-winged macaw. She comes from South America. And she's 21 years old. And she's one of the, she's a larger green-winged macaw. They grow to be 36 inches tall. So she's, that's including beak and tail. Now, did you purchase these birds, or did you? How did you acquire them? Uh, you've worked pri you've worked extensively in bird rescue, haven't you? Yes. Well, I was seeing someone at the time, and he had Loretta, and he had Skittles, and they were living at my house. And when we parted ways, they stayed at my house. Would you like to live with me? You are a lovely little girl. <laughs> oh, I'm getting kisses this morning. Hello. <laughs> what are you telling me? Oh. Oh, she's, tell Ooh, she's telling you stories. <laughs> They are a very, these birds are very talkative, aren't they? Yes, yes. And it seems, I don't know if it's all the Moluccans, but her, she loves people. She, even children. I mean, she's very... I know when very, she comes to the library, she's, she's well loved. Oh, yes, yes. Carol um, was saying that she... Oh, I'm getting kissed here. <laughs> She would make a, a, a nice addition to the library. You oh. are a very friendly little girl, aren't you? You are very pretty. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. Could you tell, about, tell me about uh, and tell our listeners how you got involved in bird rescue? Uh, oh, I joined the Rhode Island Pet Bird Club back in uh, 1998, because I was working with some women 
who belonged to it. And I started going to meetings and I ended up putting my name in at different uh, pet shops because back then pet shops were selling birds and there was one pet shop in Swansea that she had baby birds coming in and she asked me if I would uh, hand feed them. So I was doing that for her and then uh, people would, were coming in and saying they had a bird and they didn't know what to do with it. So she would, you know, give them my phone number and I would call and I would go over and that's pretty much how it started. I would bring the birds home and put them in with my other group and they... You adopted them in I, I adopted them. I never, I never adopted out because a lot of them were abused. So I figured this was, my home was their forever home. Do some, Hi. sometimes do bir people purchase these birds and then all of a sudden they lose interest well, and they yeah, not look so for another home. Not things. so much lose interest, but well, I guess lose interest, but they kind of shy away from interacting with them. And with the birds, you have to interact with them or else they'll start screaming or they'll stop plucking their feathers out. So then you have to be with them. So they and, require a lot of attention. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Loretta loves attention. So. Can you talk about how some of their habits, like their daily habits and how they interact with each other? Um, well, I've got a large family room where the birds stay. And in the morning, they listen for when I I get up and then they all start talking because they want to eat. They're making noises and everything. So I go down, downstairs and, oop, I thought you were going to get your, uh, you know, I feed everyone. And then during the day I'll go down and, you know, clean, clean the cages. Oop, I don't, she's kicking your microphone. You're fine. <laughs> and just spend time with them downstairs. There's, I've got like, three or four different perches where uh, there's a swing down there that like Loretta likes to swing on and I'll take about four or five birds out and put them out of their cage. So they do have out of cage time. Do they get along with each other? I would say yes. Because Skittles, uh, well I also have a blue and gold macaw and when we got Skittles, the blue and gold would talk to her and she, she would pick up what he was saying. So she learned how to talk from the blue and gold macaw. Very interesting. Yep. So, but yeah, they, they pretty much get along. <gasps> what? Let's see. Do they require a lot of care? Yes. Med uh, uh, veterinary, <clears throat> I, I'm looking too mm -hmm. to discuss veterinary care. Yeah. Uh, I have a vet, he's down in uh, Coventry, and he's pretty much on call. And then if anything really comes up and I need to take them to the vet, the Rook Mass in Rhode Island. Yes. Yes, I, I've taken some birds there if there was a problem. Are they hardy animals? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, I've lost power in the winter, and temperature has gone down t in the house to like 47 and they've done well. I was worried that, you know, they couldn't take the cold, but no, they, they were good about it. So, yeah. What are some of your other birds? I have a blue and gold macaw. I have an umbrella cockatoo, a goffin cockatoo. I have two cockatiels, one lovebird, a double yellow-headed Amazon, and an orange-winged Amazon. 
And they're all very beautiful. Yes, they're all, all different colors. The Amazons are green. The cockatoos are, you know, pure white. And the blue and gold macaw is similar to her size, but he's got a, he has a, a, a yellowish orange breast and blue wings and Now, our, is our friend here, is she considered to be one of the larger birds? Yes. The next larger is a hyacinth macaw, and it's, I think they, they grow to be uh, like 38 inches. So they're, and their beaks are much bigger. Yes, Loretta. What have you got to tell us? Tell stories? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on over and visit. <laughs> So, um, I'm looking at Loretta. Mm. Loretta's having, Loretta is um, having, she's playing here. Mm. You're a very, very creative little bird. They get up very early in the morning. Uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock, the birds outside are up at what, 6.30, but they, the blinds are closed in, the, in their room, so once they go downstairs and let the sun in, that starts their day. But usually in the afternoon from, from around 4 to past 2 to 3.30, they all take a siesta, and it's quiet in the house. And they go back to their cages. Yep, yep. And sleep yep. for a couple of hours? Yeah, well, for an hour and a half, maybe. What is it? <laughs> Aren't you a pretty girl? Hi. Mm. And our friend here, oh, I'm getting kissed. <laughs> Lovely, you're a good little girl. Very, very good. I've always been very interested. What do, when people, we're all getting up there and we're mm. getting older, what do people do to provide long-term care for their pets? Well, a lot of people will give them down to family members. Okay. If they want them. Okay. But down in, um, the northern part of Rhode Island, there's a big uh, rescue where they take any bird in. Are there shelters? Yes. For, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. for animals such as these? Yes. For birds? Yes. Very, but very good. We, when I was in the bird club, we used to go down there and make toys for the, for the birds that are down there because, I mean, a lot of them had plucked themselves and that and you know they were all bare and that it was sad to go down because a lot of the birds they they keep them and with the macaws and the cockatoos living so long that a lot of you know people don't want them so do you make toys for them oh yeah yeah how do you what are some oh, of with, the toys with, you make with wooden blocks and everything but then they they had toys. They, so you they have to keep them, them amused. Yeah. Yep. Are these birds destructive? Yes. <laughs> Talk about that. Oh. If not watched, uh, I don't know which bird it was. I think it was my blue and gold. He had gotten out of his cage. And that's another thing. You put locks on the cages because they, the little uh, hooks, they can... Uh, the barrels, they roll them in their, on their tongue and they open them, no matter how lo locked they are. And he had gotten loose and he had take, gone through a little bit of molding on my wall. So, yeah, you have to watch them. But I give them pieces of wood so they can chew on. So at least they can wear their beak down. What is she looking for? Loretta, what are you are you looking for a snack? Loretta was looking at our equipment. Yeah. 
Okay. Very interesting. Mm. Yeah, she's very inquisitive. You bring her to the library. <clears throat> yes. The children love her there. Yes. As yeah. the adults. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very, when, very when good. When Loretta goes there, she'll be on the long table, and she'll go to each of the women, and they'll take their cell phone out, and they'll Loretta will go up to them, and she'll just pose for a picture. You are very photogenic, I understand. <laughs> a lot of people like to take pictures just, of you yep. and share it with their families. You I, are a very, very pretty girl. Now, <gasps> what color do they? It, it, peach. It, this is the this is peach. Yes. Yes. Very interesting. Ah! Hello. <laughs> you like to talk, too. You are a pretty, pretty girl. Coming over? Go ahead. Yeah, what is their vocabulary? Um, I, I would assume that the, the, they must, different birds have different uh, levels of vocabulary. Yeah. Well, her, she, she would say hello. Hello. And, but now she says hello in different tones and makes different noises. As a matter of fact, I was we were walking up uh, from the parking lot. She was saying hello and whistling and everything. So she, I think she was. You were getting prepped for the show. Yeah, she was excited to be in here. I am very <laughs> happy to have you. And what are, what is Skittles vocabulary like? Skittles, she doesn't usually talk if if some if there's a human in the room. Because I have when I'm upstairs, I have heard her go through like she'll name the birds that are in the bird room. She'll say hello to them. But if I go downstairs, she's quiet. So she's a But they do interact with each oh, other. Oh yes. Yes. Like I said, Merlin the uh, blue and gold macaw had taught her how to talk. So, how can bird, how can prospective owners learn more about birds? Is there a, I I know I have done stories in the newspaper mm -hmm. on bird rescue groups. Mm -hmm. Are there is there still an active bird rescue group in the area? No. Did that no. kind of yeah, it disbanded, Disband. I think, maybe a, a year and a half ago. So how can people learn more about birds mm. the proper way? Yeah. Read books. There's some good books out there. Or, oh, gee, I really don't know because everything has you, changed. You, can, you, you, you can't go into a book. Uh, uh, a pet store because none of the pet stores sell large birds because there's so many in homes that have you know people have given them up and they go to the sanctuaries and that and usually the sanctuaries don't you know don't adopt them out because people have lost interest in them and just put them aside so they stay in the sanctuary yes. for the rest of their, their lives. lives yep yep because the one down in Westerly um, gee, they must have, oh, I haven't been down there for a while, but like 2,000 birds. It used to be an old chicken farm, and they just made big cages. Well, big, big room, fenced them in, and put branches in, trees in, and they've, they've got it good down there, but, and they've got all their species. And that. What about smaller birds? Smaller birds are, are make wonderful pets too. Yes, I Could think you, yeah. I think cockatiels. I think this, on the smaller birds, they're my favorite. I have two cockatiels at home. I have had cockatiels. I've had uh, little budgies. I've had English budgies. They're about the size of a lovebird. And uh, cockatiels, they they like to snuggle and everything. They can talk. And they're not too s small, and they're not too big. So if a child, you know, had a parakeet, chances are he could, you know, squeeze it too hard and that. But a cockatiel is bigger and hardier, I think. 
and they make a good family. Make pet. a good yes. And they are yes. also very good for older folks too, yes. aren't they? Yes. And for the elderly who yep. pro can provide some companionship Ship, for them. Yeah. Yep. Because they can be taught to talk, and yeah, they're they are good. I would recommend to anyone uh, a cockatiel for a first time person. Hello there. Where are you going? You're going to investigate. <laughs> you are very, very cute. Coming over? Where are you going? Come on. Oops. Here she comes. Good girl. Going to see Mama. Yeah, you're a good bird. You have had these bird, different types of uh, varieties of birds for many years. Talk about your relationship with birds. Has it been, has it been fun? Yes, yes. Um, for a while I was, I had health problems and I was in the house most of the time and they, they were there. So they provide great companionship. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that when you were recovering, I'm sure Loretta uh, provided many hours oh, yes. of companionship yep. she and would, Skittles. Yep, and she would stay upstairs in the bedroom with me and just, well, just hang out with me. This has been mm. very, very interesting. So people can find by they can go online. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's a, there are many many wonderful resources. Yes. Where people can learn, learn about how, pet yeah. birds. Yep. And uh, are there bird? There are bird. No, the bird clubs kind of fizzled. Yeah. But uh, are there are there any bird shows in the area? I or parrot shows. No. No. Kind of, at yeah. one time, I, I there was, w yeah. there was a, a, a more of an interest. Yeah, because there was, used to be a parakeet show down at the Elks, North Main Street in Fall River. Yes. In Elk Lodge. I've gone to that one, and, that, and there used to be one at Crown Plaza in Warwick. <laughs> there was a cockatiel show. What are you telling us? And Skittles is another. You're a very nice bird, too. She's fascinated by everything. She is fascinated by what's going on. Do any of the, do they fly? They probably could fly because they have full flight. Because the person that used to come to my house to do wings and nails, OK. Uh, he, because I had so many, he would come to my house and clip, you know, clip the wings and everything. May I give oh, uh, there you go. Loretta a cookie? Loretta, would you like a cookie? Yeah, you and you're very delicate. Look at that. Very gentle yes. and very delicate. Yes. You have good manners. <laughs> Skittles, did you get a cookie? Yep. It's in a beak already. <laughs> Very, very good. They love their pets. Graham crackers. Oops. Graham crackers. Yep. What are some other treats they like? Oops. Well, you can see they're, they're messy we on them. Yep. We can clean up later. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are some, uh, some other treats that they enjoy? They uh, have grapes. They like grapes, apples. They like mixed vegetables. They like cherry tomatoes. I had planted a couple of cherry tomato bushes and when I come in the house with the tomatoes, they're... Are they vegetarians? Oh, yes. <laughs> no. <sighs> will, will, they, are they, they, will they eat those? They, they, they like pork chops. Do they? They like chicken. Well, they like the bones. The pork chop bones and chicken bones. Because they break them open to get the marrow out. Yeah, that's very Mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. So they have a, <laughs> a, a very extensive diet. Yeah. 
And they're good eaters. Yep, yep. And you like graham crackers. You're having fun. Were you looking for me? Skittles, would you like another cracker? Oh, not to be outshone by our go. friend here. Come on. Go ahead, go get it. Come on. Very nice. It's all right. Skittles, you said thank you. Oh, she all done. Messy. They don't eat chocolate, though, do no, they? No, chocolate, avocado. Why don't they eat avocado? I guess because there's some kind of chemical that it would change. make them yeah, very sick. Yeah, well, it's very toxic. And very toxic, yep. yeah. Very good. So you've had a wonderful, wonderful... The walk. last 20 years, I've 20 had, years I've had these big guys, and yes, it's been very interesting. Skittles, uh, are you looking for another cookie? She, she's, oh, no. Nope. There you go, clean she up. She found some cleanup. She's part yep. of the cleanup crew here. She likes the uh, mm -hmm. graham crackers. Peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter. Yep. Do they eat peanut butter? Yeah. Like sometimes I'll make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I'll make one for them, cut it all up, and everybody will get a couple of pieces. Oh, yeah, they've got a good variety. Do they ever escape? Would they get out of the house and take off? No. No? No. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Well, before, when the wings were clipped, I've got a big dog pen outside, 8x12, uh, eight by eight by with chain link fence on top. And I had put in a couple of trees, and I used to take them out. Loretta would go out, Skittles would go out, and the big, big ones would go out in, the, in there because it was all, it was enclosed and everything. But with all the avian flu and everything and the mosquitoes, the, they really don't go out. Well, I think we're about ready to wrap up. <laughs> we have to say goodbye to Skittles and to Loretta, and we hope you, and you, and thank you very much, and we hope you will come back again and visit Skittles. We'd love to have you come for another visit with Skittles and Loretta. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.